with this week's episode of LCC Kids TV, season four, episode number 35. This week's episode is entitled All the Time. And of course, you know what I'm thinking of. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. But what does this have to do with, well, this week's episode? Let's find out. Before we start, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and for the fact that you are good all the time. We pray that you would open our hearts and minds and ears that we might listen and learn from what you desire to tell us today. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, it's time to worship! CC Kids, it's nice to see you again. This is Teacher Geraldine, and I'm gonna give you today's topic. What comes to your mind when you think of praising God? Most people think that it is standing and singing in a church service or reading psalms out very loud. Well, sometimes. Praise seems like a crunchy word that does not fit into our Monday to Sunday world. Could you praise in the middle of a geography class? Praise during breakfast? What would that look like? Well, kids, remember this. Praise is something we can do anytime and anywhere. Well, it doesn't mean we have to stand up and start belting out a hymn on a school bus. Praise can be as simple as thanking God in our thoughts. Thanks God for the eggs this morning. 
Praise also thinks about the goodness of God, like telling Him, You are awesome, God. I love the way you made those mountains. I love those animals. God, you're amazing in designing all these creatures. Praise is something we can all do every day, all the time. We just have to think about what we love about God and tell Him in our thoughts or even out loud or even on a paper. So, we are made to praise Him, to praise God. And it's a lot easier than we think. Now, let's pray. Lord, help me to remember to praise you today. Show me all the wonderful things about you so I can say them in my thoughts and in my words. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. And that's it for our lesson for today. Kids, remember, praise is something that we can do anytime and anywhere. Thanks for watching. It's Miss Sunshine here, and I am here with my friend Sophia. Sophia, say hi. Hi. And we are talking about being all the time with God. So, Sophia, what are some things that you love about your best friend Jesus? What's so great about him? He helps us every time to take care of us. Mm hmm. And he makes us happy. Mm hmm. And we love him so much. Mm hmm So how does how do you know that Jesus takes care of you and, and loves you? Because we love him so much and we know about him. Mm, how does Jesus show up in, in real life in that way? Who does he provide to take care of you and love you? He made us. Mm-hmm. That's important. He loves us so much. Mm -hmm. who, who did Jesus give you to take care of you though? Our parents. Aha. Uh -huh. And who else did he give you to love you? My, my friends. Uh huh. And everybody. Yeah. So, what comes to mind when you think about what you do when you praise God? How do you do that? I sing for him, I love him, I pray for him. Mm hmm When I go to bed. And that's important, yeah? Yeah. You tell Jesus, thank you for all of the things that you give me. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Well, it was lovely chatting with you. Bye bye. Alright, say bye. Bye. <laughs>
and tell him and remember how good and awesome and loving and kind and present and with you and forgiving he is all the time not just when you're in church on Sunday or Friday or whatever day it is that you happen to attend worship, when you stand and sing and lift your hands and worship and dance and do all of the things that we do when we praise God, when we think about what praising God looks like. Praising God doesn't only happen in church. It happens as a part of your heart because you remember how awesome he is just like your friends. I'm not only friends with my friend when she's right here with me. I'm friends with her all the time. And I remember all of the awesome things that I love about her, that she's a good listener, that she is generous and kind. I remember that my friend is really good at giving hugs. And I remember that and I thank God for her life. I thank God and I praise him for being even better of a friend than some of my best friends. So we can choose to praise God all the time for the big things and the small things by saying, thank you God for fill in the blank. Or I praise you God because you are so creative. You are so thoughtful. You are so wise you are so good and wow and amazing and just all of the things that god is so what are we waiting for it's time to praise him as we wrap this up two questions number one what comes to your mind when you think about praising god and question number two do you, what's so great about God? What is one of your reasons for praising him? Yeah? As we wrap this up, let's pray. Lord, help me to remember to praise you today. Show me all the wonderful things about you so then I can say it and remember to tell you in my thoughts and in my words. I pray all of this in Jesus' name, amen. Well, it's time to let your light shine. Bye.